Lately, car manufacturers have shifted their attention towards SUVs and crossovers. Some companies even plan to discontinue sedan production and sales in major markets like the United States. I won't speculate about the future, but I'm curious to know your thoughts. Can you mention one car manufacturer that you think might cease sedan production entirely in the near future, concentrating solely on sports cars and SUVs? Hence, we've witnessed a proliferation of crossover and SUV models within individual car manufacturers. One such company is Lexus, a Japanese automaker that introduced the all-new UX model, making its debut at the Geneva Motor Show in March 2018. The vehicle is aptly named UX, derived from the first two letters of Urban Explorer. audience for these cars? The answer is undoubtedly the younger demographic, as car companies primarily target the youth with these models. These cars are primarily designed for newly licensed drivers, such as university and college students. They also cater to small families, given the relatively narrow second row seats. Consequently, the vehicle is a good fit for a compact family unit, typically comprising parents and two or three children. Additionally, it suits university students who often embark on short trips. By adjusting the front seats forward, more space can be created for passengers in the rear. The car shares its chassis with the Toyota CHR and the Toyota Prius, albeit with some slight modifications to tailor it to the specific requirements of Lexus vehicles. The car showcases F-Sport logos on its exterior body, along with sleek black exterior mirrors equipped with turn lights and a blind spot monitoring feature. However, it's worth noting that the car's design isn't a groundbreaking departure. Instead, it's characterized by incremental updates to features already established in Lexus vehicles. This approach has its own set of advantages. Oh my goodness, it's fantastic. I'm referring to the stunning sight of those birds, not the car's performance. The smile on my face is all thanks to those feathered friends, not the car. Don't be misled. Honestly, the engine doesn't stand out as the most potent in its car category. While Lexus prioritized practical features and made it an economical vehicle, it's apparent that the car could benefit from a more robust engine to truly shine. Lexus offers more potent engines equipped with turbochargers like the two-liter turbo engine. It does raise the question of why they haven't opted to utilize such an engine for the UX model. It's entirely possible that Lexus may have plans to introduce more powerful engines in future iterations of the UX. We'll have to keep an eye out for any developments in that regard. All competing cars have engines equipped with turbochargers, and all of these cars are more energetic than the UX. While the UX may offer slightly better fuel efficiency, the difference is marginal and might not warrant the trade-off in power. In fact, a driver practicing economical driving in another vehicle could potentially achieve a similar fuel consumption rate as a Lexus UX. To be quite frank, the two-liter four-cylinder engine without a turbocharger only churns out 168 horsepower. A rather modest figure, isn't it? The torque, meanwhile, maxes out at 205 newton meters. Don't expect a surge of acceleration. It's not exactly a powerhouse, as you can see. Furthermore, it's paired with a CVT transmission, which can impact the sensation of acceleration. Indeed, this car excels in urban environments and crowded streets, making it a 100% city-friendly vehicle. However, on highways, when you need a sudden burst of acceleration, especially in economy mode, the car's response can feel notably sluggish. It's as if you'll find yourself yearning for more power in those highway acceleration scenarios. Hence, if you intend to execute overtaking maneuvers on the highway, it's advisable to stick to Sport Plus mode. However, if your goal is to use cruise control without the need for overtaking, then Eco mode is the better choice. To be completely honest, the engine doesn't stand out when compared to its competitors. However, the car offers the option of selecting a different powertrain, namely a hybrid system comprising a four-cylinder engine and an electric motor, delivering a combined power of 176 horsepower. This system not only offers improved performance, but also boasts higher torque maxing out at 382 newton meters, making it a compelling choice. When it comes to fuel efficiency, 
the car covers a distance of 18 kilometers for every liter of fuel it consumes. And with a fuel tank capacity of 47 liters, some quick math reveals that the car can go as far as 846 kilometers on a full tank of fuel. One of the standout features of this Lexus model is its exceptionally beautiful and elegant interior design. The way the instrument panel seamlessly integrates with the steering wheel and other elements is truly impressive, making for a stunning overall interior aesthetic. When it comes to the downsides, from my perspective, the car's weaknesses include the relatively underpowered engine compared to its rivals and the narrow rear seating capacity, although it's worth noting that most cars in this category tend to have limited rear seat space. Another area where the car falls short is in sound insulation. At speeds exceeding 120 kilometers, you may notice some light noise coming from the A-pillar, along with occasional bothersome sounds.